Hi. 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 <laughs> so uh, I'm transgender, <laughs> and uh, some trans women they say uh, that they used to be men. I never looked at it that way. I always thought of it as I used to be paid 25% more. <laughs> <laughs> Um, some people ask me, uh, Lauren, why did you transition? Well, I looked great in high heels, but you can't have the high heels without the right outfit. And you can't have the right outfit without the right haircut, so on and so forth. Eventually, I was looking up the cost of a sex change when I said to myself, you know, maybe this isn't just about the shoes. <laughs> my, uh, my anxiety pills say, keep away from children. I'm not sure if they meant the pills, or me. <laughs> Anxiety makes me plan for uh, really random scenarios. Uh, for example, I have a fear of dying alone, so now I have a plan for how I'm going to take down everyone with me. <laughs> I found out that my therapy dog is not licensed to do therapy. <laughs> Dr. Kibble's my ass. Go back to school, pal. So, um, <clears throat> I, uh, I drunk texted my therapist the other day. Yeah, I sent him a nude pic. Uh, <laughs> but he was, he was totally cool about it. He was like, don't even worry about it. I drunk text my therapist all the time. <laughs> and I was like, really? You've sent your therapist your nude pics? And he was like, no, 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 no. I send them yours. <laughs> um, you know, I feel like we don't talk enough about generational trauma. Um, I had bad parents. My parents had bad parents. Their parents had bad parents. So on and so forth. Somewhere, way back, a caveman dad was disappointed in his caveman son for not earning enough coconuts, and now I am mentally ill. <laughs> my, um, my dad, he, he was, he would always, he, he said, um, you know, I wish you were into more manly stuff, you know? And so, I slept with a ton of dudes. <laughs> um, I prepared a, uh, a list for you guys tonight. It's called, uh, Things I Can Say to My Therapist, but not my girlfriend. Uh, I'm sorry I always cry five minutes in. <laughs> I almost didn't come today, but I'm glad I did. <laughs> I don't like my girlfriend. <laughs> so, um, I haven't spoken to my parents in four years. Four years. My last words to my father were, you will never hear from me again. And then I smashed through the hearing aid. <laughs> my last words to my mother were, uh, Mom, I think I'm being followed. If I go missing, it wasn't an accident. And then I just never spoke to her again. <laughs> um, I want to be the kind of comic that um, tells funny stories about their life, but my life is really boring. So, I'm gonna tell you a real story, but I'm also just gonna add stuff that I made up. <laughs> you can try to guess which is which. So I was grocery shopping the other day. So far so good. When who do I see but former US President Barack Obama. And he was like, yo, Lauren! Which was crazy, because I didn't know that I knew Obama. <laughs> but yeah, he, <laughs> he invited me to um, his Halloween party. I remember that night. 
he said, he said, uh, let me be clear. It was really funny because he was dressed up as a ghost. <laughs> the, the part I made up is that I get invited to parties. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you, everyone. That's been my time. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you.